What's going on guys? This is KNasty3890 here. Welcome back to the expansion franchise of the Mariners, episode number 19. We're trying to go back to back. We're doing the regular season this year, or this episode, of 2026. Last year we won 93 games, won the World Series the year before that we won 86. <coughs> we checked the um, standings last episode. Number one ranked team, first in contact, first in pitching, third in power, sixth in speed, 24th in defense. By the way, I forgot to check. Um, make sure everyone's positions are right. Yeah, they have Lopez in center. I want uh, Lopez in left. I want Freddie Cox in center. This might be the last year with some of these players on our team, though. Um, because we do have some guys coming up who are who I'm not sure we're going to be able to keep. Villanueva. Quantrill, who was a free agent. Scope, who we got in a trade. Biddle, who I mean, I, I don't know if we really need him, but Freddie Cox is free agent at the end of the year, making 4.3 this year. Great contract has helped us. I mean, he hasn't been a great player. He's been a very good player. Like a three war on average, I would say. Two, yeah, 2.3, 3.2, 2.9. But pretty good for the money. Uh, but we got other guys who are going to start getting more expensive. Bollinger, Lopez. Um, so it's gonna we're going to have some tough decisions maybe next offseason. So important for us to have a good year this year. We didn't lose anyone, so we we're going to have just our normal draft. Not a good start to the season when we lose game one. We're actually off to a meh start. I think I thought we are going to win over 100 games, and we still might, just because we're off to a pretty meh start. Okay, we're getting hot now. But I don't see a I mean, I guess defense might be a weakness for this team. But other than that, it, we look like a juggernaut. Maybe the bullpen just doesn't pan out, but we have a lot of depth in the system. So, okay, we're at the draft. We're 38 and 25, but we're three back behind the Rangers. And, yeah, our power and contact aren't doing too hot. The Rangers' offense is great. Our pitching's doing better than theirs. Feliz, yeah, leading off, hitting 305, 10 home runs. What a, what a player, man. Uh, Bollinger, 271, seven home runs. Not bad. 333 on base. Pavin Smith, 303, 12 home runs. The Sanchez. Hitting 232, only eight bombs. Villanueva is struggling. Cox is doing pretty well contract year, so expect that. Brendan Rodgers. Power's there, but not much contact. Scope. And, wow, look at Lopez. Batting ninth and hitting 300, 323. Has 12 stolen bases, too. I mean, I might move him up in the lineup soon. We'll see. Uh, let's take a look at pitching. Barrios has pitched well. Contra, holy shit, Cal Quantrill's been great. A 2 ERA. Puck's been good. Musgrove's been good. Lopez is... There we go. That's what I need to see. We don't have many young starters right now. Lopez is the dude. Murillo's pitching okay as a long man. Carvajal's pitching good. Mace is pitching good. Biddle's doing all right. Bulger's eh, kind of struggling. Bowen's struggling. Hayter's been great. And the Miners. We got some studs working their way up. How is, uh, what's-his-face doing, Pearson? The dude cannot hit. <laughs> I might move on from him. The dude can't hit. 148, three home runs. Zambrano is improving. That's important. <coughs> Except contact for its left. Um, top prospects. We, the number one prospect graduated is on our team. But Zambrano has jumped over Pearson. He's now number four. So we got the number four and five. I might move Pearson. I don't know. We were at the draft. Let's get into it. We have the number 29 pick. That's probably going to be it. no extra picks, I don't believe. Nope. It's going to be hard for us to get have a great draft. We, I mean, we'll see. Maybe we can find some uh, good picks. Let's see what's out there. Ah, he's 23. Damn it. Don't want to wait five years for a 23-year-old. He's 22. He's 25. Please patch the San Diego Studios. One time for me. <coughs> um, All these guys are like... God, they're going to be so old when they're ready. Hmm. I don't love any of these picks. I might take a chance on this guy because of the power and the bat. But I know he may not be great, but let's take a chance. David Bell. I don't love anyone, really. And the guys I love are, like, older than the ground I'm sitting on. All right, I'll take a chance on Ryan Greenwood. He's 19. We'll see. This could be a dud of a draft. It could be. All right, round three now. 
I'm going to take this guy just because of the speed. <coughs> we need that speed bat. I mean, that speed uh, bench bat. And he can be that guy. Because Quit Holmes is that dude right now. But he's going to get... he. I think this past year cost like 800000 The next year probably cost like over a million. I'm not going to pay that if we can just develop it in-house. All right, last pick of the draft coming up. And... Sure, we'll take some lemons. Okay, yeah, the start of the draft wasn't great, but we did... Oh, wow, I, there's an 89 in there. So, Abel, yeah, I kind of figured... I mean, I took a shot in the dark there. I mean, 78 potential is not awful. The end of the first round is a hit or miss. Brian Greenwood, 80 potential. Nah, eh, we'll see. Uh, Omar Villa, I mean, like I said, I saw the speed. The speed's legit. His potential 79, which is actually better than I thought. He'll probably be on the team next year for literally just to steal games and steal uh, bases in the playoffs. Aaron Hoff, that was a good pick. 21-year-old Canadian. Uh, yeah, he's an 89 potential. That's good. Ozzy Ruiz, a, a closer. Add another one to it. He's 22 years old, 66 overall, 82 potential. And the last pick, 86 potential. That's not bad. He's already 72. That wasn't bad at all. So, yeah. All right, let's continue moving forward with the season. I'm not sure. Um, <clears throat> I mean, with the freaking Rangers, I don't want to have to play that wild card game, but geez, we might have to because we are playing like dog shit right now. All right, let's. Uh, we're ten back. Of, okay, we're not going to win the division, and the wild card is pretty close. We're not scoring many runs. Villanueva's been terrible. Sanchez hasn't been great. Smith's been good. Bollinger's been fine. Not like elite, but fine. Not as good as it was last year. Power's going up. Lopez is still hitting, so we're going to move him up. You know what? Let's go find... Let's see if there's any third baseman out there. The Cubs sign Xander, and now they want to trade him. Nick Senzel, he's expensive. Not really hitting that well. Um, Ardonias is out there. How's he doing? 327. Dude's now mashing. 327 for Baltimore. 12 home runs. Probably his best war for his career already, except for his rookie year. Jeez. Um, Brian Haynes, 84 overall. In 313, five home runs, but um, <coughs> I don't know. Let's just manually see if there's a third baseman out there. How's Arroyo doing? Still can't hit. Eh, a little bit of pop there. Carmen Guzman. 290, 13 home runs. Eh, maybe. This was the dude I was looking for. Orlando Guzman, yeah, you can hit, but you can't field. Hunter Dozier. 18 home runs last year of his deal. Villanueva. Mm, let's keep looking. Matt Chapman. Really struggling with the bat this year. Probably going to stay away from that. Alex Bregman. Four years remaining. He's definitely 239. Wow. Chris Bryant. Final year of his deal. Hitting 308. I, we might be able to get this to work. They want closers. I got closers. Feliz has been great in AAA. That helps. Oh, not quite. How's Bulger doing in the... Bulger's struggling right now. 4-8-3 ERA. If we include him, we need to give up someone else too. Oh, Reggie Harper gets it. There we go. I'll do Reggie Harper. I don't love his walks per nine. We get Chris Bryant in the final year of his deal. Now we can't get a draft pick for losing him, but that's fine. Because we're going to lose Christian Valenueva anyway. We're trading from position of strength with Bulger. And then with Harper, I'm not too high on him just because his blocks per nine are terrible. Which is really important for uh, really important for simulating. So that helps us out in the offense. And maybe defense slightly. And we get Chris freaking Bryant. Alright, now um, let's get, we're gonna have to add another bullpen piece. So who's doing well in the minors? Nine innings is pretty small. I'll probably pick up, call it Fernandez. Yeah, it's called Fernandez. So let's put him in here. 
in the lineup. Chris Bryant will slide in there. I'm actually going to maneuver this because Lopez is moving up in that, <laughs> that order. If he's going to hit, he's moving up. And Sanchez moving down. So hopefully Chris Bryant can help us. I don't I still don't think we can catch the um the freaking Rangers who are just amazing right now, but we're gonna try. Do we improve on from Sanchez? What's his wins above replacement right now? Point four. So he's been a replacement level player. I would love to give Pearson a try. I just don't know if he's ever gonna develop. He just can't hit. <laughs> Do I um let's 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 look let's go nuts let's let's go nuts guys Get, let's find if you can let's see if there's a stud catcher like I want a, Francisco Mejia as a stud 319 12 home runs elite defense he's going down in overall though like if I did a Sanchez Pearson okay the money <coughs> won't even work I don't know what we'd have to give up. Maybe a guy like Hater would actually get the deal. Then I don't want to do that, though. But let's see what else is out there for catchers. Wilson Contreras. He's doing all right by getting the money. we got to find a guy who hasn't, like, got that big contract yet. Yeah. Carantini. I mean, maybe we could get the money to work with him. But he's nothing crazy. I think we'll let Sanchez go a little longer. Um, let's go to the uh, the trade deadline. Excuse me. See where we're at there. And let's just by the All Star. I mean by the trade deadline. Let's see if we can get to like seven games in the division. Lewis Brinson got traded. Okay. Jimson Tyon got traded for Springer and Lucastro. Phil Reyes, one of our thousand closers. For Carlos. Gary? No. Okay. Uh, I'm not trading Bollinger. Oh, wow. This guy's pretty good. Dennis Santana. I'm just... Humor me, I guess. Ruben Allen, a good reliever. And Demi... Eh, no. I'm not trading Bollinger. Alright, we're at the trade deadline. We are now 15 games back. They're not even that good. <laughs> and we're actually out of the playoffs right now. You know what? Um, we'll figure it out, guys. I think they'll figure it out. I might... Let's put Lopez second. Lopez went from batting ninth to now batting second. All right. Let's make the playoffs, boys. Alex Jackson got traded. Man, why are we not that good? Jeez, I don't know if we're going to make the playoffs. We're 72 and 66. Let's go a little further and then let's take a look. All right, we're playing Texas, who's going to probably sweep us. We are the second wildcard team. Okay, we're pretty comfortably second wildcard team. Four games up, but we're playing. Te we have another series with Texas coming up, who apparently is a wagon. All right, that just secured us making the playoffs. We already made the playoffs. And we're probably going to be the home field for the wild card. So um, we won 80. How many games did we win last year? 93. We have 85. 87 wins. We're going to play Tampa. So the regular season came to an end. Somehow, we didn't score that many runs. Only 706. Our pitching was good. We just didn't score that many. We do have the number two and the number three prospect, so I don't know. Maybe we give Pearson a try next year. Let Sanchez walk. Zambrano, we'll figure, I don't know, maybe we'll play him soon. And anyone else? Murrow is still at 20. He yeah, his potential went down, actually. That kind of stinks. <coughs> um, Goldsmith, he's improving. But let's take a look at how the team did. Barrios, a 3.56 ERA. Quantrill at 287. That was great. Puck at 348. Musgrove a 4. And Lopez a 404. He struggled at the end of the year. Murillo was a long man. That's not bad. Carvajal pitched great at 205 ERA. He's going to be used a lot in the playoffs. Mesa did struggle during the regular season, but he was great for us last year in the playoffs. Biddle did struggle, but he's one of our lefties. Same with Carvajal. 
Fernandez pitched great once he got called up, so that's nice to see. Bowen definitely struggled. We had a good year last year. I don't know. I don't know. And Hader was great. Eh, really good. Great. I would probably put a low 2 ERA for a closer. But still, very good. That's nitpicking. Lineup, Feliz at 306. He's a professional hitter. 306, 19 home runs. He literally had like a duplicate season, except for runs scored, which is kind of weird because I'm betting he's batting leadoff now. And he scored 30 less runs, but he had four less hits, same amount of home runs, same amount of RBIs, one more stolen base. Average was the same, basically, on base was basically the same. Slugging was slightly higher. His war was probably right around the same, too. It's not that high, his wins above replacement, because he doesn't play defense. But Lopez, 296, 17 home runs, still 27 bags. Got on base at a great clip. He's improving. He improved a lot in power versus left. His vision and discipline are elite. Like, yeah, and his potential is going up. Patman Smith, 284, hit 26 home runs, definitely declined. Chris Bryant, 299, 34 uh, dingers there. Bollinger, he kind of regressed a little bit. Well, he definitely did. Definitely did, yep. His wins above replacement was only 1.7. Sanchez hit 27 home runs, so the power was end, ended up being there. Freddie Cox, 256. 16 home runs. I don't know. what he's, His contract this offseason is going to be interesting. Like, how much does he want? I don't know. Brendan Rodgers. 24 home runs for Brendan. That's a career high, I believe. Yep. Not bad. And Scope, batting ninth, hit 19 home runs. Definitely down from his prior year. Though, like, every year he was hitting 25 to 35. And this year he hit 19. So, I don't know. I think Zambrano will be on the team next year. I think Pearson. I might just give Pearson a chance. Let's got to try out if you, in the majors. Uh, I don't think we won any awards. A.J. Reed got MVP, 51 bombs. Bellinger in the National League. Chance Adams got Cy Young. And Soraka was a big free agent signing for the Phils. Wins Cy Young. Uh, let's see. Soler got the batting title and Fernando Tatis. Uh, rookie year. I'm going to say this guy was 29. 30 freaking 3. 28. <laughs> so wait. <coughs> Excuse me. This dude hit. I mean, hit 27 home runs. But can you weigh it a little bit for the fact that the dude's 33? It's not a rookie. I mean, even like her uh, Lopez, who's 25, I think is old. But we didn't get any awards, but that's fine. The awards we care about are in the playoffs, which will be the next episode, boys. So catch me there. Talk to y'all later. Take it easy. Peace.